this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the GitHub application and how you can get it started and what it can do for you. So I'm going to start with a new project and I'm just going to import a template using Gatsby and I'm just going to do a demo here and get that up and running. And while this gets set up, I'll tell you a little bit about the app. Now, the app um, is something that you might have seen in other applications. Um, it's a really useful way to connect data between a, a service and GitHub. So this helps us uh, get data around your PRs to show in the dashboard. Um, but I think most usefully what this does is allows us to provide links in GitHub for you. So you'll be able to have a link to a branch with the branch that you've been working on in your PR description. That way, when you are opening up a PR for somebody to review, rather than having them pull down the branch and spin everything up and open up a preview, they can just open it directly in Code Sandbox, see your code and uh, see like a preview running or a test running or whatever it is that you have prepared for them. Now, um, now that I've got everything started, you'll see that there's a question here if I want to install the GitHub app. Now, I can only install a GitHub app on repositories where I have admin access to. If you do not have admin access, then um, it, you can request it and there will be an email and a notification on GitHub specifically to someone that is an admin and they can do that on your behalf. Now I can give access to all repositories or select repositories. So I'm gonna look at my demo sandbox template for Gatsby and save that. And once that is added, you'll get confirmation here that the app is installed and you can start building. Now really that is all that you need to do in order to have the GitHub app installed, you're done at this point. Um, but I want to show you a, a bit of a, a hidden feature that you can add to your PR if you would like. Now we're working on making a little less hidden, uh, but I do want to talk about it because I think it's very cool. Um, and this is the standalone preview. Now here you can open up your preview, you can share this link with somebody, um, and they'll uh, be able to access this as long as the dev server is running on an open branch. Um, and also you have to come in and copy it and add it in. Um, if you want this link or a link that is available all the time, um, we can add previews to your PR description. Now, the way you could do that is by adding some fields to the task JSON file. Now, the task JSON file is the thing that is controlling your dev tools here. Um, it pulls scripts from your package JSON and auto-populates the scripts and the tasks um, with things that we think that you will want to use given your package JSON content. Now, you might want to configure this a little bit more to your liking. Maybe you have a mono repo. Um, maybe you have some uh, scripts that you want to run during setup uh, or some previews that you want everyone to see um, as soon as everything is set up. So what you do in order to configure that is open up your command palette and select create task configuration. And this will open up the task JSON file for you and show you everything that was in it um, for you to adjust and uh, update to your liking. Now, I want to add a preview. I want the uh, Yarn develop script to uh, be the preview that I share in my PR description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a preview field here, and this takes an object. And I'm going to put in a port, and I'm just going to do port 8000 here. And I'm then also going to add in a PR link. Now, the PR link takes a, uh, a text, and there's three different options for the text. The first is the dev tool, which is essentially what I described here. It's the idea that you have um, the preview that is running off of the dev server on a running branch available in your PR description. Now, um, this is dependent on the branch being up and running. So we created another uh, standalone preview link that is called direct, and that will point directly to the server. Um, so regardless of whether or not the branch is up and running, it will show that to you. The dev tool is really useful because there's additional features in there like 
being able to click on the code icon and be directed uh, back to code sandbox. So if at any point you want to inspect an element or see the code running, um, you might want to jump straight back into code sandbox. Um, it's great for working with people on a team um, when you're doing code reviews. But direct is really useful if you have a, a link that you want to be uh, available for really um, people outside of your team, maybe a, a stakeholder, somebody who wants to see the progress of a, a feature as you develop, um, or something um, along those lines. Now we have a third option, which is uh, a middle of the road option, which is redirect, which essentially will look to see if there's a dev server running on a branch, um, and then we'll do the dev tools, and if it's not, um, then they will, it will direct you to a direct link. Now I'm going to come in here and do a direct link um, just for demo purposes and come in here and commit this change. So add preview and commit and push. And when I open up this pull request, I'll say adds direct preview as a description. And it takes a second to show up, but you'll see that there is a link to the web editor, uh, a link to open the, the branch in VS Code using the remote SSH functionality, very uh, exactly the same as when you see it on the editor, it says VS Code. And then I have my develop branch here, so or my develop preview. So when I click on this, it will take me to the, the preview, and this is going to be available all the time. Um, so this is really nice for um, sharing your work um, and reviewing this regardless of who you are and what, um, whether or not you're going to uh, need access to the code. Um, now, if I navigate back to this and uh, refresh, I can, let me just show you what the web editor looks like. Um, this will take me to the branch um, my wild bush branch, and you can see that um, all of my dev tools are up here. So if I had run um, some tests here or any kind of script um, or even had like a, a terminal, that would have uh, shown as well. Um, so that is the GitHub app. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the uh, um, using that and uh, hopefully it brings uh, a little bit more ease to your review process.